So let's try a little something different. What I want to introduce to you is the ability of animating some of those transforms that we saw last time. If you remember, and you're following along with your progress, you probably have a skew, but you'll notice that my skew is seemingly gone. It's actually still there. The only difference is I've changed the background color back to this sort of off-white color that I have here. And the reason I've done that is because now what I want to do is create a sort of animated rollover where I roll over this and we'll see the color start changing. In fact, since we're going to have a gray background, I'll even change this to a whiter background as well. So let's see how to do that. Well, if we return back to your editor, you'll notice that my header P is exactly the same as what we saw before. The only difference being is that I happen to have changed the background color. It was the same background color, the triple eight, but I've changed it to this one here. But other than that, everything else seems exactly the same as what you had in your progress from the last video. So, I'm going to keep the skewed transform as you can see here the only thing I really want to do is to change the background color and to change the color of the text itself. So, how do we do that? Well, let's see. I'm just going to paste in a little bit of information that I had just written. And you'll see here that I have a little comment that says CSS3 transition. I'm not going to put the same comments because by now you should be familiar with them. One thing that you will see that does happen to be or is omitted is the fact that there's no MS transform, i.e. 9. And what you notice here is that I have transitions for WebKit, Opera, Mozilla, and here's the basic transition property declaration. So what this is telling us is that, yes, you might have imagined already, but Internet Explorer, even 9, does not support transitions in CSS3. You're going to have to work with animation in different ways in that particular browser. Nevertheless, here I have CSS3 transitions. By the way, what would happen in that browser? Is my website going to break and crumble into a million pieces? Nah, it'll just look like it does right now without the animation. So not really a big deal. However, let's take a look here and see what we can do. So you'll notice, similarly to what I did with the transform, first and foremost we have a transition property. In, in other words, indicating, well, which is the property that I want to transform? Now, you'll notice if I will, later on when we work with the rotation, that happens to be a transform property. So you could have just come in here and written WebKit transition, and I could have said, well, transform, if it's the one that I, the property that I want to change. However, I'm going the easy route because we're changing two properties. We're changing color, and we're changing background color. So in order to accommodate that in the most efficient means possible. I'm just going to declare this overall declaration of all. Transform all, everything. All the different properties in CSS can be set to animate using the CSS3 transition property. Isn't that fun? Great. So notice this. The transition property is set to all. Animate everything whenever you want, however you want. And I've set a transition duration of 0.5 seconds. I found the one second a little laggy, a little slow. I mean, it is one second, but I wanted to cut that in half. And also, it gives me the opportunity to show you how to do that to speed things up. So I just made it like 0.5 seconds, half a second long. So let's take a look. In WebKit, we have to say WebKit transition. And we can give the direct relation at the same time. In Opera, we're giving a property declaration and then a duration declaration. Same thing with Mozilla. So let's see what's going to happen. Well, nothing's going to happen. Well, what do I mean? Well, because at this particular moment in time, I'm going to copy the selector that we're using for the header paragraph. Right now, all we're saying is, for that paragraph, these are the things that I want you to be able to animate, and this is how long I want that animation to take place. But we do have to add some more information. In other words, I'm just going to close this for a second. 
No, I'm not going to copy paste the exact same information, but what I will do is to say that header P selector, let's add a hover state for it. In other words, a rollover state for it. And what do we want to do in this? Well, all we need to declare is what are the things that I want you to change. So in other words, I want you to animate, since we have all of these possibilities, quite literally, I could animate anything that I have here, by the way. But the only ones that I'm really concerned with is the color of the text. Actually, I could come in here, just use my little finder. The color of the text. And at the same time, I'm going to put the color of the text being that off-white, that sort of background color that we have. And if you're following along, it's F2, F3, ED, and I'll put the semicolon. Then I'm also going to include the background color. And the background color, we're going to make that same gray that we were using elsewhere, the triple eight gray. All right, well, let's save this now. First of all, let's look at it one more time. I'm going to make a separation here so you could read that a little bit better. So within the header P selector, so anyways, the P paragraph inside of header, it's got all these declarations. We've indicated that we wanted it to be transformed in a two-dimensional skew. And we also told that paragraph to say, hey, listen, be ready to transition all properties in half a second length. Then on the header piece hover, we said, well, these are the two properties I want you to transition. And it will take half a second to do just that. And I could put in more if I wanted to. But right now, I think that'll suffice. So I'm going to save this. Then we're going to jump on over to Safari. I'm going to preview that in my browser by refreshing and check it out. Ah, what a nice rollover effect, right? And that's great. So whatever you happen to have here, you can create a animate or an animated transition or rollover just by indicating that information that I showed you before. So when we come back in the next video, we're going to do the same thing for this logo here. And instead of using the background, we're just going to rotate a transform. So come back and we'll see how to do just that.